Hi, I'm Ms. Fung. Today we're going to start a new topic, exponentials and logarithms. First, we're going to revise index laws. Let me start by clarifying something. In different countries that speak English, we refer this with various names. The common name is that that's an expression. In some countries they call it power, some countries they call it indices. So to avoid confusion in this video, we're just going to call it expression. And the bottom number is always referred to as base and the top little number can be referred to as index exponent or power. I, we will usually use the word power because that's what I grew up with. So this will be a to the power of n and this is an expression. So let's revise the index laws. You'll see that we'll go pretty quickly today because you expected to already know this. So when you have two expressions with the same base and you multiply them, the powers will add. When you have two expressions that are divided and uh, with the same base, then the powers will subtract. And then when you have them in brackets, then anything inside the bracket will have the powers multiplied by the number outside. Now notice that a to the zero is one. And that makes sense because a inside the brackets in here, um, sorry, in, in index law four and five, the powers of a in there are one and not zero because otherwise the a would disappear. It will be just one to the end there. So if it doesn't have a power or index, then the invisible number that's not written is always one. a to the negative n can be made with a positive power by bringing it down. So it becomes one over a to the positive n. And similarly, a to the negative n as a denominator can be brought up to become uh, a to the positive n. We also notice that zero to the n is usually zero for all uh, positive in integers. But if we have zero to the zero, then it is undefined. So these are the rules we're going to use today. You should be familiar with them. If not, you better memorize them now. Okay, example one, let's practice the first rule. So here we have two expressions with the same base. What do we do to the powers? We add them. So three to the five times three to the two becomes three to the five plus two is seven. Example two, three to the a times three to the a plus two. Now remember, throughout this whole video, you can always pause when I get to this point and write down your own answers and see if they match. So unpause to see if they match. So now we add the power, so a plus a plus two, which is two a plus two. Again, another example, when we have bigger expressions like so, what do we do? We collect like terms. So firstly, let's put the numbers together, three times five, and then x to the power two times x to the power four means two plus four is our new power. And y to the three and y to the seven means three plus seven is our new power. So try to always collect them um, in from smallest digit to largest, so three and five, and in alphabetical order as well. So when you look from left to right, you shouldn't miss or confuse any numbers. So three times five is 15, then we have two plus four is six, and three plus seven is 10. Example four, when we divide, so now we're practicing law number two, seven and the two, what do you do? You subtract. So now we have three to the power of five and a to the three and a to the invisible one. So three minus one is two. Example five, here we have a combination of the first two rules. So we have the same base. Now, when we multiply, we'll add these together and divide means we subtract. So 4a plus 2a plus 2 minus 5a is our new power. So now we have 4a plus 2 is a 6 minus 5 is just a plus d2 over there. Example 6, again, we're going to put the numbers first and then alphabetical order, so 10 over 5. And we have x to the 4 plus 2 minus the invisible 1. See, 4 plus 2 minus 1. And then we have y to the 3 plus the invisible 1 minus 2. So 10 to over 5 is just 2. 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 1 is 5. And 3 
plus one is four, minus two is two. Example seven, seven to the negative two that we can write as one over seven squared. That's like that rule over there. And that is the same as one over 49. Example eight, what about when we have a fraction? So one will have the negative two as a power and three will have the negative two as a power. And three to the negative two is the same as, bring it to the top, three to the positive two. When other words, nine. Ah, and one to the any power is still one. So that's why we didn't bother writing anything to do with the one. Example nine, so here we have seven over three to the negative two. Because it's negative, we know we can uh, it's going to be 7 to the negative 2 over 3 to the negative 2. To make the power positive, if it's at the top, we bring it to the bottom. If it's at the bottom, we bring it to the top. So now we have 3 squared at the top and 7 squared at the bottom. So that becomes 9 over 49. Example 10, very similar example to example 9, same concept. So when you have a negative, you flip it to make it positive. So y cubes at the top. 5 cubed at the bottom. Example 11, what do you do when you have these brackets? That's rule num index law number 3. You multiply them. So 3 times 5 is 15, so we have x to the 15. Example 12, again, lots of brackets. Whenever you see brackets, it's q to multiply. So minus 2 times 3 is uh, 6, negative 6. And if we want the 2 at the bottom to become a positive, power then we're going to bring it to the top so it's 2 to the power of 6 which is 64 2 4 8 16 32 64 example 13 so let's expand the brackets so 3 times 10 is 30 and 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 then when you multiply what do you do to the powers you add them 30 plus negative 8 becomes 30 minus 8 which is 22. Negative bases. Now, negative bases with even powers doesn't really matter because even powers means it becomes positive. But if it is odd powers, then it will stay as negative. So negative two times negative two is positive four. Positive four times negative two is negative eight. Now the example, negative two to the power four. Again, if it's even the power, then it will be positive. So let's have a look at this. So we have negative two squared, which is positive four, x to the power two is x squared, times negative three to the power three, odd, which means negative three times negative three is nine, times negative three is 27, negative 27. So you don't have to go negative and negative, you can just go three cubies, three, nine, 27, 27, and because it's odd, I put a negative in front. So now 4 times negative 27 is negative 108 and x squared. I do notice that the negative in front is different to the negative power, so we don't move them, okay? Example 17, so we have brackets this time, so work on the brackets first. So 2 to the power of 3, x squared times 3 is 2 times 3 is 6 and y cubed, three times three is nine. Then we do the same for the other bracket, three to the negative two, x to the invisible one times negative two is negative two, four times negative two is negative eight. Now we could put that down as the denominator, but we also could just add them together. And the easiest version is to add them together. So let's do that. So now we have, um, we're going to move the three to the negative two at the bottom, so it becomes positive, but x to the six plus minus two, it's plus because we're multiplying, but that's negative two, so it looks like that. And y to the nine plus negative eight will look like that. So six minus two is four, and nine minus eight is just one. So that is our final answer. Example 18, this looks scary, but Remember, just start with what you can do first. So here we have, um, we're going to use it, we're going to expand the three. So minus two cube is, well, it's odd. So it's going to be negative and two, four, eight. That's going to be eight. So squared, x squared, two times three is six. 
then y three times three is nine, x to the power three, z is four times three is 12. Then divide it, so divided by that, we're going to expand the bracket, so three squared is nine, minus four times two is negative eight, three times three is six, and z of invisible one times two is two. What do you know about divide? It is the same as timesing one over that. So I haven't changed anything, I just changed this times one over that. Because I'm doing the division part, I'm not changing the positive and negative yet. Okay, so be careful with that. So again, in that step, I went from, see it's negative eight, because I'm going to times it, I times it by one over that, which means I'm not applying that rule. I'm just using the, because I'm dividing, it's the same as timesing one over that. So exact same thing. So now, what can we do? Well, let's write negative eight, and then the six can be minus the x to the six, and the x to the three, that's six minus three. And because we're dividing, that's at the bottom, it's also minus minus h, eight, which makes it plus eight. Then y to the nine, and then the other y is at the bottom there, so divided by y to the six, that means nine minus six, and then Finally, at the bottom, we have 9 and z to the 12. And because they're both at the bottom, so z to the 12 times z squared, that will be 12 plus 2. Remember when you do fractions, a number at the top and a number at the bottom means you're dividing. And if both numbers are at the same level, you're multiplying them across. So likewise, when there's a number at the top, like x to the 6 over uh, a number at the bottom, x to the 3, the 6 and the 3, you have to subtract because it's dividing. And same with the negative 8, you have to subtract. So the negative, so minus subtracting a negative number though makes it positive. Now let's clean that up a bit. So negative eight over nine, six minus three plus eight is 11 and nine minus six is three and 12 plus two is 14. Almost there, thanks for being patient. Prime decomposition. So this is your tree diagram that you did in year seven. So six A divided by two A. Another way to write six A is Another way to write 6 is 2 times 3. So that is the same as writing 2 times 3 to the power of a, or 2 to the a times 3 to the a, and then I'm not doing anything to divide it by 2 to a. And 2 to the a divided by 2 to the a is just 1, because a minus a is 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, or the same number divided by the same number also gives you 1. So the cool thing about maths is it doesn't matter which way you go, you still end up with the same answer. Example 20, 12a times 18 minus 2a. Um, obviously this example, I'm just trying to show you what prime decomposition means by splitting the six into two and three, but you could have done six divided by two all over to the power of a, six divided by two is just three, yeah? But now that we can see the method of breaking the six a into two times three a, two a and three a, we can apply that to something a bit more challenging. So how do you write 12? 12 is 2 times 2, sorry, 3 times 4. And 4 is can, can be written as 2 times 2. So it'll be 2 squared times 3. See, 4 times 3 is 12. How do you write 18? Well, 18 is 2 times 9. And 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2. So 2 times 3 squared. So these are prime numbers. So see, I've done the 12 becomes that, 18 becomes that. Now I expand the powers, so 2a, 3, to invisible 1 times a is a, and then the minus 2a, and now that we're multiplying, what do you do to the powers? You add. So 2a plus minus 2a is 0. 3a plus minus 4a is, well, a minus 4a is minus 3a. That's just 1, so the answer is 1 over, because we want that power to be positive, 3 to the power of 3a. Example 21, almost there. Let's try this one. Again, we have, we see the 6 and 8 can be broken down. So let's do that. The 6 is 2 times 3. Now I'm going to expand the, expand the a straight away without using brackets. Hope you're okay with that. And likewise, 8 is 2, 4, 8. 2 to the power of 3. So 2 to the power of 3a. And I just copy that bit out. Now we're going to write them out. Again, always start with the smallest to the largest and always in alphabetical order. So I started with the two. So 2a divided by 
2 to the 3a would mean a minus the 3a. Now we do the 3, 3 to the 2a plus a minus a. So in other words, 2 to the minus 2a and 3 to the 2a. And again, that's a negative power. So what do we do? We use that and bring it to the bottom. And you can always use brackets if they have the same power to, to neaten things up. Okay, thank you for watching and being so patient. You might want to try all these examples again because you should be able to do them just a little bit faster as I verbally went through them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.